I can't take myself seriously with this makeup because I try to pull up like a serious, very serious Javert face, but I just burst out laughing so hard. Oh my god. Hey everyone. So this tutorial is actually going to be part of a series I started like just recently based on one of my favorite musicals, Lame as Rock. So the reason why I wanted to start a body painting series based on Lame Miss was one, I love, love, love this musical. I actually saw it. Well, I actually got into the fandom recently, like a couple of months ago, when I went to see my friend Ben, who you may have seen in my um, Phantom of the Opera video. He was Javert. And so um, I went to see the production, and it was amazing. And after that, I just couldn't stop listening to Lame Miss. And so yeah, I became like in love with the musical. So I'm starting a body painting series. I'm actually very, very happy with this look turned out. Um, it Compared to Jean Valjean, it was actually quite easier to do. Like, I thought it was gonna be harder, but somehow, like, I did it in a matter of like two hours and I was already done, so I'm pretty surprised you know I finished quickly. So, yep, I hope you all enjoy this makeup video, and if you do, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also if you want to follow me on any other social media, then the links will be down below. So, I really hope to see you next time, and bye! So the first thing I did before recording this tutorial was to comb my hair back and then I spray painted it using some white hairspray and then after that I applied my L'Oreal foundation but before that I applied moisturizer to help the foundation spread a little bit better and then after that I just set it with some Mayron setting powder. Okay. So we're gonna start off with the contouring now and one thing that I wanted to explain is that um, it's gonna be fairly similar to how I did my Jean Valjean old age makeup but it's gonna be a little bit different at the same time because um, according to the reference pictures that I've seen from Les Mis, um, Javert actually looks a lot younger and sinister, like a lot more sinister than Jean Valjean. So I'm going to basically do so basically what I'm going to do is that I'm going to contour my face and I'm going to make a lot of the features look a lot more exaggerated and like darker and a little bit more e I really don't want to say evil because he's not like evil but he's not like the best character. So um, basically I'm just going to make my nose look a lot thinner and sharper, my cheekbones look more raised and prominent, my chin look a lot more prominent. Um, and make myself look a lot thinner also because Javert is um, pretty thin so yeah let's see where this goes so I'm just gonna take that exact same like brown or tan makeup that I used last time in my Jean Valjean makeup and I'm just going to contour the features Whenever you're contouring, you want to make sure that at first when you use the brush, you want to dab the makeup with your finger after you're done applying it so that it would blend better into your skin and it would look a lot more natural. And one thing that I always like to do with my makeups is that I always, I, I'm sorry, I always like starting off with the lighter colors at first and then switching to darker colors. So as you can see here, I at first did all the contour in like a really light brown and then I switched to a darker brown to make some of the features look a lot more prominent. Then after that, I took a beauty blender and just blended it all in. After that, I took a cream highlighter and just highlighted the highest points of my face. So basically the bridge of the nose, the top of the nostrils, the cheekbones, chin, forehead. Basically any area where light would reflect first. And you know, we want to look like we're underneath the spotlight all the time. Okay, so I already applied my Javert sideburns or whatever you call them. And um, if you want to learn how to do this, then you can just watch my Jean Valjean tutorial. Even though I did a beard in that one, it's basically the exact same steps, only that in these I just did the sideburns. And um, I also made my hair a tiny bit wider to match the sideburns a little bit more. I took my shirt off because I'm going to start body painting now. So for the body paint, what I'm going to do is I'm going to body paint his uniform. So basically the uniform he wears throughout the first act of Les Mis, so the one where he makes the, his first appearance, Fontaine's arrest, all of that stuff, so I'm, that's the suit that I'm gonna body paint, 
And um, I'm gonna use all Mayron body paints, so I'm gonna use all Mayron Paradise paints to body paint. Those are the ones that I really like using. You can use whatever type of brand you want of face paint, but I just prefer using Mayron because one, they're really, really, really smooth, and two, they actually smell really nice. So those are the ones that I'm gonna use. So before I started body painting, what I did was to take a brown eyeliner pencil and I sketched out his suit, so the color, the scarf, the buttons, the shirt, you know, earth thing. And then I did a mix of black, blue, and white body paint from Mayron, and I mixed them together to create a really dark bluish, grayish color, which is the color of his uniform. And right before I finished painting the entire thing, I realized that I probably should have painted the buttons first. So I took white body paint from Mayron and started filling in all of the buttons and then any of the other areas in the suit that had white, so the shirt, and then pretended like it never happened by going back to body painting the rest of the suit. I used a small flat brush to get around those buttons because it became really complicated to get into those areas with a bigger brush. And then after that, I just filled in all of those bigger areas using that one big foundation brush I was using at first. Then after that, I took black body paint and I filled in the scarf and then filled in the rest of the suit. Dance break, very important. Do not forget this step. After that, I took a black eyeshadow from NYX's Love in Paris palette, and it's actually coincidental and ironic at the same time. If you're a Les Mis fan, then you're gonna get what I mean. And I just shaded some of the areas in the uniform, as well as take some gray eyeshadow and shade the areas where the uniform would cast a shadow on the shirt. Then I took some really light gray body paint, and I did all of the wrinkles that would be in the scarf, and at the same time, I made the scarf look like it's tied together. And then I just took some black eyeshadow and just shaded all of those areas a little bit more. After that, I just took some black eyeshadow and created the shadow that would be casted by the fold of the color. And then I took white body paint and added a highlight on top of the color and then blended that out. To make things pop a little bit more, I usually add highlights to the edges of the cloth, as you can see me here, and I blend those out using either brushes or my fingers so that they wouldn't be so harsh. And in here, I was highlighting that one big area right there, but it becomes totally irrelevant because I'm doing something different in that part later. Whenever you're body painting or doing any type of makeup, it is always best to take a step back and observe what you've done so far. And when I did, I realized that I needed a lot more highlights in the scarf as well as in the color. Then after that, I took a brown eyeshadow from the NYX's Love in Paris palette and I basically shaded where the suit would be casting a shadow on my skin. And then after that, I took the teeniest, tiniest bit of black and I mixed it with the white buttons to make them like a really light gray color. And then I added a white highlight on top to make them look metallic and shiny. Then I took white body paint on a flat artist brush and I drew lines connecting from each of the corners from where the buttons meet the uniform. And then after that I took white body paint on a flat artist brush and I just created the wrinkles that would be on the suit. And for that, what I did was that I did some brush strokes using the white body paint and then I blended those out using a bigger brush. And then I created the shadows that would be casted by those wrinkles using black eyeshadow. And after all of this, you are basically done with this makeup.